Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. I do love me some corned beef and cabbage, but I've been eating for 45 years and I need something new. So let's do some Berea style corned beef and cabbage. This is a super fun recipe. I've been messing with Berea for a really long time and it just hit me. I had to do this because uh, I have no impulse control whatsoever. As you can see, we're going to add some peppers. Those are chili negro, chili piquina, and tomato. That's what we're going to make the sauce. There's a little beef stock in there as well. Let's sear off that meat. Hot, hot, hot. Those are beef shanks, guys. Those are not for meat. They're all for flavor. The marrow, the fat, um, it's all going to melt into that beautiful consomme. Um, it's super good like this. There's no fat, really. Not a lot of fat in a, a piece of corned beef. And just, just to know, this is a packaged corned beef from the supermarket, right? Um, they're going to be marked down this week. So go soup on up and make this. Uh, it's super fun and it's a new way to experience good old corned beef and cabbage. Um, yeah, so got a lot of spices in there. Uh, some saison um, as well because that's what my good friend's grandmother used to put in hers when we were kids. And a little homage to Abuelita. Um, we got some shallots. I'm doing this a little late with some tequila white tequila and apple cider vinegar. I was just gonna balance that out, give it a little bit of tang. Look at that bad boy. Now let's sit the lid on it and uh, we're gonna throw it in the oven for a while. It's out, about two and a half, three hours, I think 245. Pull it out and we're gonna start prepping to make the tacos themselves. Um, as you can see, now we're gonna cook, quote unquote, the cabbage. We're gonna use that, that consomme to cook this cabbage. So there's different um, shreds in there. So some will soak it up, some will keep crisp. It's a really smart way to do it. Look how moist this bad boy is. Oh goodness gracious me. So so I took the top off because I'm going to use it this week for, for breakfast. Look at this man. Look at this man. So, so freaking good. Um, this one is really fun to make on a Sunday or a Wednesday. It really doesn't matter. That total active cooking time is about 40 minutes, which isn't a lot, um, but it's worth every single second. So guys, if you like what you're seeing, drop me a like, follow, share it with your pals, share it with some Irish people or some Hispanic people, and offend them a little bit that I would do such a horrible, horrible thing um, to their dishes. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by.